I have so much to update you on. I have cried very happy tears. These are my new beanie hats. It's a dumping ground. Everybody has their job. Nine to five, hidden in the settle for second best. Scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. My channel thank you for clicking on this video today is friday the 17th of february and i have so much to update you on since the last vlog so the last vlog thank you so much if you watched it if you haven't i will leave it linked <laughs> in it i told you that i'm gonna be launching a kickstarter and that i'm gonna like document that <laughs> and i thought today being friday i thought i would have a vlog showing you like the launch of it and like promoting it and trying to get some pledges. We are <laughs> three days in. I launched on Tuesday night um, and we're fully funded. For, like the whole project is funded and I have cried very happy tears this week. Um, so this vlog, this vlog was meant to be like three days in, like chatting about it, chatting about like the stretch goals and explaining it and I don't need to explain it because it's done like the, the the project is fully funded like you can feel free to go and pledge to it everything is unlocked like it has been the most mental 48 hours I've ever had in my business so let me kind of backtrack and tell you what happened so Tuesday night we launched at six o'clock. I went live here on YouTube and you could actually go back and watch that. Not many people have. Um, it's a long live, so don't feel like you have to sit and watch it all, but I hit like, like go live on YouTube before the Kickstarter page was launched, if that makes sense. And I had it on the screen next to me. So I'll insert some footage. I documented like all of it from um, hitting launch to like, unlocking stretch goals like it was just a mental live stream if you were on it thank you so much you made that night just so unbelievably special so within 11 minutes of hitting launch we had fully like funded the horse pins which i think is like the fastest it's ever happened before well then the next thing was that we needed to get to 100 backers because if we got to 100 backers then i was giving a free pin out which is still available. If you want to back the Kickstarter, you get a free pin. If you back both horses, I give you a freebie. Um, so having like the reaction of everybody when that happened, I just felt like everyone was cheering me on. And that's such a lovely feeling because sometimes you feel like you're out here alone and um, to have people message, like the messages I've had, I've had some gorgeous messages from people um, and voice notes and, um, yeah, it's, it was really, really special. And then last night, at about 20 to 6, um, we got to £5,000, which means all of all of the pins are unlocked. Um, and yeah, with it being 20 to 6, it was less than 48 hours since launching. I don't... <laughs> I don't really have words. Like, I said in the last one, I don't... Like, I set big goals and I didn't know if it was gonna... How it was gonna go. And I only set two weeks on this project and I was worried. I thought like, maybe that's not enough time. <laughs> Turns out you don't even need a week. <laughs> and it's just, I'm on top of the world with it. 
So I will leave all the details below. If you haven't pledged yet and you want to be part of it, um, I would absolutely love it. Don't think that just because it's fully funded you can't take part. I'd love you to. It'd be amazing. Um, there's some Kickstarter exclusives, so, you know, if you're a pin collector, if you collect all of my pins, some of these pins will only be available on this Kickstarter. So, um, have a look at it. Um, let me know if you pledge. Let me know if you did pledge. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy. So anyway, it's Friday now. I had yesterday at home, had a few issues yesterday, my car broke down, had just a mental, I think when you're on such a high and things are going amazing and then personally like things just aren't working out <laughs> in terms of car breaking down. I was in the doctors yesterday crying. Um, you know, just, it feels very, I'm on a roller coaster. Some great highs, but some lows. Um, and yesterday I needed to be a day working from home. So I'm here today and I need to get loads done. Um, You'll see when I came in, I unboxed a gorgeous present and I wasn't like filming to talk. I was just kind of opening it, not knowing what to expect. And it was a gorgeous wedding gift from Adele, um, who is Deli's Designs. Adele, you messaged me and asked for my address when I got married and I didn't think anything of it. And then I got this package today and it's just blown me away. So thank you so much. I can't wait to show Matt when I get home. You'll have also seen that I unboxed some lilac beanie hats. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, these will be a surprise for you, but I have a brand new product coming, um, which are my lilac beanie hats. And I had a Patreon exclusive vlog last week where I showed my patrons and they came out so beautifully. So um, I have one here. Now this is my test one. So um, there's <laughs> some slight errors with it in that um, there's some silver th thread here, which is gonna be gold. But other than that, these are my new beanie hats. Um, obviously fairy tale inspired lilac and gold, like they're just perfect for me. And actually the lilac is the perfect shade of lilac. If you look at my planners, like it's all just perfect, isn't it? So I have a local embroidery shop that I'm working with on these, which I'm really excited about because it's nice to help another small business who's local. And what's also good about it is I can have them made in small batches. Um, I didn't want to, I don't know how well these are gonna go um, because we're going into summer, so why would people buy beanies? I mean, I, I think it's great, but <laughs> other people might not. So having, I didn't want to have to buy hundreds to make it work. So what I've done is I have bought loads of the beanie hats and that's what you saw me um, unboxing. They're on my shelf. So I've bought loads of those because the more you buy, the cheaper they are per hat. And I just know that I will make beanie hats now forever. But in terms of the embroidery, I can just take them as and when I need them to the embroidery shop and she'll do them for me. So um, I have put them on Patreon as like a pre-order, um, but then eventually I'm hoping to just have them on the shelf. And when you order, I'll just do them straight away. But right now it's on a pre-order. So I will literally like today, for example, I'm gonna take 30 of them to her to embroider um, and I put them on Patreon and I think I've had about 10 orders. Um, so I'm gonna just put it out on Patreon and see if anyone, before I go to the embroidery shop, get a few more. Um, but yeah, if you're doing anything like that, um, trying to find someone local who can help you. Yes, it'll cost you more per item of clothing to embroider, but um, the flexibility with that, I think is good. Until, you know, it could be that in a couple of months maybe I can take them into my pop-up shops and have quite a few printed and then the cost will be down. But um, anyway, I will leave a link for these below because by the time this vlog goes up, they will be in my actual shop for you, not just my patrons. So um, yeah, there'll be a couple of days processing time when you order them just because like I say, I'm gonna take them to the embroidery shop as your orders come in. But um, I hope you like them. Let me know what you think below. I'm really excited. I'm going to Paris soon, Disneyland Paris, and I'm gonna be wearing these and I cannot wait to get some pictures in front of the castle with them on, so. Yeah, I'm thrilled with them. So like I say, I've got loads to do today. I would really like to film a Kickstarter tips video because I've been promising it and now that I'm fully funded, I feel, uh, does anyone feel like this? Like you, you know you have good advice to give. You know you can help people, but you still have that like niggle in the back of your head thinking, you don't know what you're talking about, so what's the point? <laughs> and my mum had to remind me, she was like, Em, you fully funded a project in 48 hours. Like that's big. You need to tell people how you did it and help them. And then when I sat back and thought, yeah, I can help you. <laughs> um, I am gonna sit and record that today, I think, while it's all fresh in my mind. 
So I think I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I have one order to process, even though I have those beanie orders, obviously I can't do those yet. So I will do that order, let me see. I think it's for Stacy. so thank you Stacey. Um, I wanna also say a big thank you to some new patrons that I've had since my last vlog. So yeah, I wanna say thank you to Alicia, Katura, Funky Kids, and Bria. If you wanna join, um, we have all sorts of fun things going on. I'm actually doing a Zoom call on Monday, which is like a review session, feedback session, where you can submit um, what you wanna talk about, and we talk about it. Like, I've never, I don't know if I've done this before, um, but I've had quite a few people say they wanna come on and talk to me, so I'm looking forward to doing that on Monday. But today is Friday, let's go back to Friday. I'm gonna go away and record this Kickstarter video so that it's in the bag. I'm not gonna record, like, I'm not gonna edit it today, but I just wanna have it, the footage. I can work on it this weekend. Um, and then when I come back to you, I am gonna do some drawing. I have some portraits to work on, which I talked about in the last vlog, um, and a few other jobs. So it's a little bit later, I've recorded my Kickstarter video and I'm just gonna sit and do some drawing but I noticed on Disney Plus that the Beauty and the Beast 30th celebration is on so I'm gonna sit and watch that while I do some drawing with my family size bag of Maltesers. Don't judge me. Um, I'm gonna work on a portrait, I'm not gonna show you because I haven't had approval from them that I can show you. Um, <clears throat> but once I am kind of done with a lot of the portraits and I'm kind of onto the finishing bits, I will ask for approval and I'll show you then. Um, but for now, I'm gonna watch Beat the Beast. <laughs> So I have just been working for an hour on my portraits. I have one pretty much done and I've just been kind of sketching some others which has been really nice. But I just want to show you because a package has arrived and I think it's a PR package. So I thought we'd open it together. Let's get it open. Let's see. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Hi Emily, just wanted to send you a little something to brighten your day. I've watched your studio vlog since the beginning. There's still as inspiration as day one. Hope you love your gifts. Lots of love. Chloe, every last gift. If you're happy for your followers to use a discount code, they can use Emily15 for 15% off. Oh my gosh, what is this? She has sent me two Starbucks cups, both with Emily on them which is so kind. A lovely little lolly and a sheet mask. Oh, what a gorgeous gift that I was not expecting. Thank you so, so much, Chloe. This is stunning. Thank you so much. I love it. That was such a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting that. So thank you, Chloe. Um, it's now half past one. I had my lunch while I was working um, and eating, eating my Maltesers. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do is I need to go to the embroidery shop with some beanie hats, but I might do that as like my final thing. So I am going to edit some of the Kickstarter video that I've just recorded, I think. I have two orders to do, which won't take me long at all. So yeah, I'm gonna just edit, I think for an hour. Hopefully that's the next video that goes up and hopefully that video is up before this one. So if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. Your campaigns that you wanna do. I wanted to sit down today while I'm actually in the middle
So, my shelves probably look very organised. Um, it's not, it's a dumping ground. Um, I have pins, pins, bookmarks, postcards, washi tapes, prints, don't really have a system. Stickers, don't really have a system. Stationery is kind of over there. And then like over, like extra pins are up here. It's frustrating because like I say, a lot of stuff's out of stock or I don't know, I'm just in a weird place with my shop at the minute. And when I get new products in, when this Kickstarter is done and stuff's coming in, it'll be very exciting. But I just kind of want to make space. So like all of these pins, will stay like could get another thing in there um a lot of the pins will be restocked soon i'm having a lot of pins restocked so these will be full again soon and then because of this kickstarter i need a second one of pins really so i'm going to just do a bit of a shift around i'll show you when i'm done but hopefully it just all looks a bit better. Let's see. So I've just spent half an hour organising and already that looks better doesn't it but I'm going to show you uh, what I've done just in case it's helpful to you. Um, a lot of these tubs are empty right now but with obviously the kickstarter they will be filled very soon so I wanted to just have a place for them so that when they arrive I can just put them straight away in here. So this is the shelving unit I've shown it before but this is from Ikea it comes with a set amount of shelves the problem is you can't buy the shelves separately and what i've done on this side is bunch them quite close together but it means over on that side i have loads of gaps i'd love to be able to just buy more of these shelves on their own but right now you can't from ikea i've got pins going on along here obviously i'm restocking a lot of them and i'm gonna have pins along here these will be my new ones on this one i have patches i've got another patch coming decorations obviously i've got my ice skate one and my wreath one i'll have two more in here by the end of the year some patreon bits these are all like patreon exclusive pins bookmarks i've managed to condense this from five down to three which is good almost all of these are in my clearance sale so if you like any of these please go and check my clearance sale out they're like 40p for a bookmark and then down here we have washi tapes in two of these um i'm having a washi tape restock so those will spread out over these four when they arrive sticker storage is shocking i need to work on this um i'll figure it out but i also need to get some more stickers so work on that and then i have prints um we've got like patreon exclusive ones this is in my clearance sale this mermaid one it's like I think it's like a pound for this print um if you like it uh, again that's in my clearance sale and then on this side we have lots of empty tubs really and like excess pins my beanie hats will be there i've got notepads which i've got some new designs coming um notepads these are the last of the bullet journals that's all i've got left <laughs> and then like storage at the bottom and storage at the top so yeah i'm quite happy with that it looks a hell of a lot better than it did <laughs> it's just missing lots of stuff it needs stocking up and filling up which i'll be able to do very soon hi guys it's now tuesday <laughs> so i was filming on friday i think was it friday i was filming um and i never ended the vlog i've been editing it and realized that i just never finished the vlog so i'm gonna end the vlog now thank you so so much for watching and being with me this week if you still want to back my kickstarter you can we're a week in we have another week to go um as you can see my desk is a bit different so i've moved things around on this vlog i tidied up my shelving units which looks so much better i'm so happy with it 
But I was sat at my desk and my mum was sat over there working away. And it was getting a bit cramped in here. Um, and I thought, I need to put my desk back by the window. Um, and I have done, and it's so much better in here. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour, but maybe I'll do an updated studio tour video. Um, but I just thought I would show you because it's so much better. And I love watching people's like studio space and like the rooms they, they work in to see how they use space. So this could be useful to you. Um, so let me turn the camera around so you can see. So hopefully you can see, I have so much more room in here. The biggest problem I had was that this middle table had three tables to it and it was really close to my shelves. So I couldn't really get past there. And then because how my desk used to be, like as an L this way, I can't get past there. So it's just so much more spacious um, putting my desk back this way. I wanted it out. Um, I didn't want to face the window, but for this room to work, I need to basically. So there's more space, like I have space to walk around. <laughs> um, there's some rubbish over there, but don't worry about that. And then my mum's gonna be over by the window, which is what she wanted. I have my desk here and some extra space here. And then I have my stuff in the middle. So yeah, it's much better. Like I can come around here and it's not cramped. And obviously we did all of that stuff on Friday. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna just finish the edit on it and put it out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week where I will have another Kickstarter update for you. Please comment below if you've pledged or if you're gonna pledge. It would mean the absolute world. And if you can go and watch my previous video, which is my Kickstarter tips, again, that would mean the world. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.